the Papa Blue Shirt here. I'm going to show you how to reuse your microgreen soil without having to transfer it out. Stay tuned for this episode. Alrighty, what I have here is a uh, old mustard green that I was using for microgreens and I just let it grow too big and, and uh, it's all crowded and everything now and and uh, so it's reached the end of its life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off even with the, the soil line and then we'll put a little bit of seed starter on there and then we'll plant. And this is something I've been doing for probably three four months. I used to take my dirt out every time and like everybody does and uh, I figured out, man, there's got to be a better way to do this. And uh, so uh, I went ahead and I developed this method through trial and error. And uh, it works really good because once you put the seed starter on top, it's like a brand new soil. Everything's down below. Any mold or anything that's beneath that, the worms will eat and the dead plant matter and everything like that, they'll take care of too. So it really works out really good. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, there you go. Turned out really well. You know, usually you'd have to put that over in the, uh, you know, worm bin or let it decompose for like a month, month and a half. And this way you can just keep turning it over. I've got ones that I plant three, four times a month and uh, just using the same soil, just using this method. And you can continue using this method with that same soil until the soil gets to the top of the tray. Once the soil gets to the top of the tray, then you'd have to. Um, You'd have to, at that time, you'd have to change out, but you know, you can use it for two, three months before that ever happens. But that seed starter, I use a particular seed starter. It's this stuff here. I'll leave a link for it in the in the description. Uh, it's, it's got coconut and perlite and everything, and I found it works just perfect for this. I've tried regular uh, potting soil, not regular potting soil. I've tried regular peat moss. I've tried regular peat moss, and it just doesn't work as good. And so I really like this stuff here. It's, it's kind of uh, damp when you first purchase it. So it's not like uh, peat moss where you got to soak the water. You know, I hated peat moss. You fill up the trays and then fill up water and the trays would all float to the top, you know, and then you have to leave the sifter all night. And eventually, eventually, eventually it would soak in. But this is just perfect. You can go right from the start and just head at it. Also, uh, I sprinkled some some white powder on there and that white powder is DE. The reason I put that on there is uh, using your compost sometimes you get get these little dinky little bugs, these little dinky little thing and you might get some aphids or something like that and you know you know, my wife she doesn't like to eat her and stuff with bugs for some reason. <laughs> I do my best to keep the bugs all out of there and how I prevent that is by putting DE on top and DE uh, you buy food grade DE, I'll leave a link for it in the description, and you just sprinkle it on top. I use a little little shaker that we got from Dollar Tree. I just mix it up in there. I just put some DE in there with a few pebbles just to keep it so it shakes around real nice, and then I just cover the whole top. So anyways, and so what we planted today was Rocket. Rocket, I wasn't sure if I would like it. I had it in my basic mix, but I wasn't sure you know, by itself, but I tried some the other day and oh, it was so good. I made a sub with uh, with guacamole sauce and uh, just microgreens and ro rocket, and it was just oh, it was so good. You didn't need no meat or nothing. It just it was beautiful. So that's what I've been doing there, and I just went ahead and I planted another one. I want to make sure I don't run out, and because uh, uh, you know there's certain things I've tried and they're saying yeah I don't really care you know if I have that ever again you know. 
but uh, Rocket, I really like Rocket. And uh, I'll leave a link for it in the description. It's just got a really neat taste to it. And uh, all right, I think that's everything. I use a little uh, three or four inch two by four to smooth everything out. And uh, it makes it look just, when you're done, it's just perfect, you know? Just like if you just would have just did a regular, regular planting. And uh, it's a lot less stress on the worms, a lot less stress on everything. The neat thing is that when you leave those in there, those worms will be laying eggs and getting it all full of, all full of uh, cocoons. And then when you transfer it over, just kaboom! There'll just be an explosion of w w worms. I've done that, you know, four or five times, and I wonder where did all these worms come from? And then I figured it out. They were all eggs in the, in the tray, and uh, they just hatch when I take them over here and put them on this side. So. <clears throat> Losing my voice for some reason. <sighs> Hopefully I'm not getting the virus, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. I haven't been nowhere for, let me see, this is well, March 21st. And I haven't been nowhere since February 2nd. So unless it's floating through the air and coming over here, I don't think I got anything. Ain't no one in our house has even went anywhere for, for about three weeks. So anyways, hopefully I'll be here next time. <laughs> Papa Bouchard, and thanks for watching. In the words of Roy Rogers, may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride. And be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good